I can now confirm that we have concluded the Israeli response to Iran's attack against Israel. Israel carried out a major, long-awaited series of airstrikes against Iran early Saturday. The strikes, which lasted for a few hours, were in retaliation for Iran's missile barrage against Israel on October 1st. And there were concerns that um, energy infrastructure like oil terminals, uh, oil facilities, nuclear research facilities would be struck. In fact, that didn't happen. And what the Israelis did is limit their strikes to military installations. Four members of Iran's military were killed in the attack, with the foreign ministry calling the strikes a, quote, clear violation of international law, and it, quote, considers itself entitled and obligated to defend itself. We demonstrated today that we have both the capability and the resolve to act decisively. And we are prepared on offense and defense to defend the state of Israel and the people of Israel. World leaders have been urging the two sides to avoid a wider regional war. According to senior U.S. administration official, President Joe Biden encouraged Israel to design its attack against Iran in a way that would deter further escalation. My hope is this is the end. The most important thing here is de-escalation. By refraining from attacking Iran's oil or nuclear sites, Israel has potentially left room for de-escalation, but it is unclear whether Iran will respond to this latest attack. If the regime in Iran were to make the mistake of beginning a new round of escalation, we will be obligated to respond. Our message is clear. All those who threaten the state of Israel and seek to drag the region into wider escalation will pay a heavy price. Afia Ba, City News.